Howdy friends, KC here with a long overdue video. <laughs> Apologize, I haven't been around uh, making many videos lately. Uh, been kind of busy, did a, a big move, moved the entire farm um, across a few states. Um, took many, many trips back and forth, um, but we got it done. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of was knocked out of commission uh, for making videos and stuff like that through the month of October. Uh, but here I am, I'm back. Um, I have an unboxing today, a special one, and uh, also, if anybody really cares, I give out some information, kind of an update, I guess, if you will. Um, so, I want to do the unboxing first. We'll get, get that out of the way as if it's going to be a chore, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, anybody who uh, is uh, a regular Gavco watcher, you probably know this is already on its way. <clears throat> and I have been looking forward to it. Um, the mail ran pretty slow um, this last week because uh, I'm pretty sure because of the hurricane. Um, so this took a little bit longer to get here than I expected it would. Um, finally arrived today and I am happy about that. I don't know what's up with this knife. It's just not cutting well for me today. And in typical Gavco fashion, we have the bag within the bag. <laughs> Double your opening pleasure. <laughs> Let's see. Let's find a good route here. Let's go right here. There we go. Oh, that looks more like a sharp knife, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Got some paper towels to uh, clean up my tears of joy when I get done opening this. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is um, the Raptor that he made. He's been making the T-Rex series in the Raptor. Um, come with an extra sheath here. This was the original sheath that it had on it. And uh, I asked him if he would make um, another sheath for me um, because I wanted I wanted to be able to mount it onto my pack and stuff. Um, so he was so, so kind and uh, he, <laughs> he actually did that for me for free. Um, and this is the first look I'm getting of his, of his Kydex work and wow. Uh, <laughs> better than factory. And, oof. We are in there. Oh, yes. Got some oil on her here. Still, I'm going to clean that up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is the, uh, African rosewood handle uh, made with the natural bolster here and man that looks incredible and, and that sandblasting finish is really pretty cool nice texture wow boy that thing melts into the hand just melts in there L love the ergonomic right here Mike just <laughs> wow and looks like you polished off the sandblasting off the blade. I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't do that, but um, I could kind of understand that you wouldn't want to send a knife out that that had been scratched up. <clears throat> I could see how beautiful it uh, must have been, though, from right here where, where it still retains that that bit of sandblasting. And then also right here past the, uh, the plunge line. Amazing. You know, these <laughs> his knives look gorgeous <clears throat> on camera, but, man, they're just so much more beautiful in real life. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing. Fits so well in the hand too. Boy, I'm gonna love this thing. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Worth every penny. Thank you so much, Mike. Oh, I just love it. And of course, why, why would I put it up without checking how sharp it is? Oh, that's a Gavco edge, I'm sure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh, I get really excited about this stuff. <laughs> I'm a little trembly on this one, too. That is beautiful, beautiful work. I'm going to see how we're fitting in this other sheet while I am at it. It's very nice and streamlined. Actually, thank you so much for sending this uh, this one along with it. Um, that'll be perfect, you know, if I want to throw it somewhere a little more concealed or you know, in the pocket or something like that. I'm going to figure that out. But Oh my god, what a gorgeous blade. What a gorgeous blade. <clears throat> Cannot believe it. Absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that's that. Um, we'll move on to some other things. Uh, kind of, I guess, an account update, if you will. Um, like I said, I've been busy. I have a whole lot of ideas for um, videos that I really want to do. I want to give some really up-close looks at um, some of the other knives that I have. Um, I have a couple of knives that I've picked up uh, kind of in the interim since my hiatus. Uh, Those little Boker Nano being one of them. Kind of do some close-up, uh, in-depth look at that, give you some of my opinions. i got another knife. I've got another custom knife coming sometime, too. Um, and one thing that I've been really excited about lately is... Um, I got a new toy that I've been working on, and uh, it's kind of overshadowed some of my other interests lately, um, and I will give you a good look at that whenever I get uh, get it done, but here is a sneak peek for you. <laughs> uh, if you're into guns, weapons, you probably know what that's going to be about, um, but very excited about this. Uh, super, super glad to have another Gavco knife in my hands. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry I had doing another unboxing, but uh, I just wanted to share my my enthusiasm, my little bit of joy today with you, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I, I want to say thank you to um, all of the new people who have subscribed to me. Um, I always try to make it a point to send out a little personal message. Um, to say thank you. I haven't had the time to do that, so I'm a little bit behind, but if you've subscribed recently, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, I appreciate every one of your views. Um, it's always, uh, always touches me when somebody takes an interest in whatever I have to say or whatever <laughs> I have to show off, so um, big huge thanks for that. And um, we'll probably be talking about this and a bunch of other cool knives and other cool guns here sometime in the near future. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys are having a great day, and <laughs> catch you later. <laughs>